Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Derek Reacts, back at it again. And yes, you read right. MJ, Thriller. You can't have Halloween without Thriller, guys. I mean, it's a staple. It's a staple and it's iconic. Um, it's been a while since I've seen this, believe it or not. So I'm glad that I'm doing this and I'm going to get back to it. And, um, and just in time for Halloween, guys. I can't wait. Not the shortened version, the long original one. Um, a request me by you guys and it made it through. But before we get into the video, please take a moment, comment, like, and subscribe. I would love to hear your feedback. Makes videos like these all the more possible. And also take a moment to follow me and like me both on Instagram and on Facebook. And if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. I also have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like these, like the one you're about to watch, all the more possible. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go. Look at this. Due to my strong personal convictions, I wish to stress that this film is no way endorses a belief in the in the occult. Wow. Very interesting. I don't remember seeing that. I don't remember seeing that. Very interesting there. Oh. Get him. Ah, I love it. Already. <laughs> Honestly, we're out of gas. Oh. So, what are we going to do now? Oh. <laughs> Yellow shoes. Oh, my God. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. Can I ask you something? What? You know I like you, don't you? I want to say something, um, and I know not much has happened because it just started. But just seeing this uh, after such a long time, you see how, my, how, how much Michael's passion is involved into this because of his love for like film and being involved in film and, and exploring concepts and ideas behind it. He's setting the mood, setting the mood for this. Um, you, you get the crickets, the frogs, uh, all the environmental sounds, the, the, the darkness, the car um stopping and, and and all that you know setting it up setting it up that's what you do i mean it's unbelievable unbelievable the creativity that this man had when he was doing this and and you and you see her how she her eyes are just so perfect for this role her eyes the, the way they open up um and 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 you see like it's just everything about it it's just it's it's done very well done very well. this this reminds me of the movie um the Wolf with Jack Nicholson and also uh, American Werewolf in London and, and all those all those movies that um, that have to do with, you know, the human the humanistic side of 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 of, of a guy who who's actually a wolf or some other creature. And and just seeing this, it reminds me of that because the fact that I think maybe that's where he kind of like borrowed the concept from. Um, I'm not saying that he's copying or anything like that. I know there's a lot of MJ diehard fans out there. I'm just saying that the, the idea, the process, setting the stage for horror movies, which was, was probably inspired, you know, to, to him to, to create this. And it's just brilliant, the whole thought, thought. By the way, that jacket, oh, I want it. I want that jacket, the one he has. <laughs> Are you all right? Get away! Perfect, 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 guys. You hear the, the symphony in the back? I mean, they don't do that anymore, especially with like movies and stuff. <laughs> and, and even things like this, uh, you don't see that. But it's perfect because it's setting it up. It's still setting it up. It's still, you're creating that momentum and, and the dramatics behind it with all those, all those horns and um, the strings, the, the, the symphony that's behind this. Um, and that's, that's just MJ. That's MJ doing his thing. That's MJ doing his thing, um, you know, creatively and, and musically. And guys, talking about ahead of its time with makeup. I mean, this must have won won numerous awards um, with makeup and, and 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 special effects. Are you kidding me? Look at this. This was this was 1984, 1980s. Look at this. Look at look at the makeup. I'm <laughs> He's 
enjoying it. Look out! Can we get out of here? No, I'm enjoying this. Well, I can't watch. He has, and then you see him wearing the signature, that signature red coat that everybody wanted. Because, um, you know, the other one is, was, is, is a nostalgic too, but think about this one. This is very, very iconic, the one he has on, um, which I think he, he uses in the video as well. But notice how he's creating that, that division between the real life versus a uh, movie. He's still, still weaving in a tale, still weaving in a tale, using, using the concept of film um, in, within a film. Using the concept of filming within a film, great, great, great technique. Um, and I know that kind of like you're getting the thought like he's he's probably that the werewolf. He's not trying to hurt her, but the thing is he just can't help himself because he's an animal, and she can she can uh, she can uh, with she can't have that. She can't have that around because the fact that um, you know, are you are you kidding me? Are you are you gonna make love to a uh, a, a scary thing like that? Yes. It's only a movie. It's not funny. Yeah. You're scared. <laughs> it's close to midnight. Something evil's lurking in the dark. Hey guys, I've said it numerous times. Three, four, five times, six times. The bass. The bass. It's all about the bass. That thing is freaking magic. It's magic. Oh, you know, the way it comes in, um, and then you get the little little drum things coming in. <laughs> but it, it's just the bass. The bass is just amazing. That's that's the thing that, 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 that takes you in. Once you hear that, you know the song. You know the song, you know what it is. You just know it. Instant. Instant. Instant gratification. Under the moonlight, you see a sight that almost stops your heart. You try to scream, but Tara takes the sound before you make it. You start to freeze, and so it looks you right between the eyes. You're very nice. Ah, you I love it. You hear, especially with the headphones, because I got them on, you hear everything. You hear the little the little um, cowbell. I believe it's um, maybe plastic. I'm not sure, but you hear it. You hear it in the distance, and you hear the nice guitar, the guitar fiddles, the guitar strings, the chords. You hear them. They're coming in nicely, and I love it. I love it. I love that I'm getting all those sounds, um, and I'm being I'm able to to concentrate on on, on them because not much is happening. But he's just walking and and kind of like getting her all riled up. doesn't get old guys this doesn't get old it just doesn't because it's just so good i mean it's timeless um i want to also mention if you see what's happening here the interaction between mj and um you know the girl i'm ugh, i should know her name by now i mean it's been such a long time um but uh, you you see the interaction he's teasing her he's kind of like teasing her he's kind of like ba basically poking fun at the fact that they saw they just saw a movie and uh he's kind of like reenacting it reenacting it and and kind of like spooking her she's smiling because um to this point she knows that it's not real but little does she know you know so he's kind of like you know play along, playing along kind of like teasing her Sounds are getting delicious. Sounds are getting delicious, guys, because you hear the synths, you hear the little horns, you hear the trumpets, you hear the nice little you know, that that specifically that synth coming in now, now kind of like creating that um <laughs> that that unique sound. I can't imitate it because it's just too, it's too good, too good to imitate. But um, it's perfect. It's perfect. Uh, all those things, and now it seems like they're heading into the cemetery. Cemetery to create more of that mood, create more of that build, and that scary, the scariness is just on the money, guys, on the money. Uh, 
darkness Morgan. falls oh. across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. Look at that. Creatures crawl in search of blood. <laughs> and whosoever shall be found without the soul for getting down must stand and face the hounds of hell and rot inside a corpse's shell. For way, what better way? To add, to add to the momentum, to add to the instrumentation and that break in between the song that have none other than Vincent Price um, do this, this narration, you know, and, 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 and speak like that. It's just perfectly. It's perfect. I always thought, um, and I guess this is kind of like a young thing, um, a lot of guys are growing up and even still to today, the Dracula speaking. Like it's a Dracula speaking there in the back. <laughs> Because you get that that, uh, that 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 thought, you know, Vincent Price and all that stuff. But it's just perfect. It's continuing. It's just all these all these things that could that, to to add to to the theme. And now you see the undead coming up from the ground um, to, uh, to 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 do their thing. Uh. Oh. The foulest stenches in the air, the funk of 40,000 years, and grisly goons from every tomb are closing in to seal your doom. The organ comes as soon as he starts, sing, uh, starts uh, speaking, Vincent Price starts speaking, the organ comes, creating that kind of like intro and stuff like that as he speaks. Um, as his part comes up, loving the organ, giving more of those ghoulish vibes, more of those scary vibes. Um, and guys, those percussions completely slayed. These keyboard arrangements and these synths are amazing. Amazing, amazing. On the money. Uh, who's responsible for synthesizer? Well, you have Greg uh, Philogonianus and Anthony Marnelli for synthesizers. Oh, completely slayed. Completely slayed. And then you have the arrangement by Rod Temperton. It's unbelievable. And though you fight to stay alive, your body starts to shiver. For no mere mortal can resist the evil of the thriller. Uh. Just when you thought the song is over, no, 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 guys, it's still playing. Eight minutes in, it's still playing. It's interesting how he's, it's like almost he weaved in the song twice in a video, if you think about it, because that, that famous horn uh, that comes in to end it, um, the trumpet, it, it almost sig signals an end, but it doesn't, because now now we're getting the, the, the acting as it comes in. Look at this makeup on the money. 80s, guys, 80s. Look at this makeup. Oh. I've seen I've seen a lot of high school um, plays and a lot of shows imitate this performance because it's just so nostalgic, it's so iconic, iconic, everything, everything about it. But notice what happens: the beat drops, the beat starts, it kicks off as soon as Michael makes his first move and turns around into zombie form, and she's strucken, she's strucken, and she's surprised by by the way he looks. She's like, "Oh, no, not you! You can't be like them." And he is. So, and then they move along to his kind of rhythm. Summonings, like, it almost seems like he summoned them, you know? Um, and he pretended like he was not part of it, but he is. He is. He's one of them. He's one of them. Unbelievable, iconic guys. Instrumentation and those fiddles. The fiddles with the, with the bass and everything. Oh. Oh. Look at the way he looks. Incredible. Makeup, special effects, costume design, 
environment so environmental sounds, cinematography, theatrics, dance moves, chore choreography, everything, everything about this is on the money, guys, on the money. Um, money well spent, money well spent. Everybody around this time wanted to dance like that. Everybody wanted to bust those moves. Everybody wanted to mimic that. This was something that was truly... Um, uh, inspiring and very, very, you know, iconic of its time. And everybody wanted to do that. Uh, it's just unbelievable. A true Halloween feast. True Halloween feast. Um, with the shoes, I don't remember that. Oh my god, it's been such a long time. He did the, you know, the, the tiptoe thing. That's that's amazing. And showing his socks and his, and his shoes and everything, unbelievable. Now he's back to his human form, in and out, in and out, switching, as you can see. Um, but you know, it just works all perfectly. And even though he is in his humanistic form, uh, they are still dancing along beside him because they know they know that he's not truly of of human. Of human form or whatever. I mean, you know, the, this concept is kind of like a, a American werewolf in London, the whole thing. So, so let me hold you tight and share up Oh, I love it. On a side note, um, uh, I had never said this before, but I know on numerous occasions there have been a lot of sources and a lot of uh, uh, times and in other scenarios where Michael Jackson himself said that he doesn't like the way he looks um, and he just felt like he was ugly. Let me tell you something, guys. This guy, uh, specifically around this time, was very, very attractive, very handsome, very handsome. I don't know what, where, where that came from um, and if it's true or not, but... He was very handsome and very attractive. I, 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 didn't, I never thought for a moment that he was not. Um, and, and he was really, really attractive. And even in this video, too, especially in the beginning, you see him, you know, young Michael. You know, he's a he's, uh, 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 cute face, you know, uh, very, very young, very good, good on looks during this time, the 80s, guys. But he is slaying, slaying. And now, instrumentation break comes in. He stops singing. He turns back into zombie form. Um... Or undead, or whatever you want to call it, and she's cha now she's running into a house. Classic, classic horror scene, guys. Classic horror scene. Oh, I love that. This the the switch. And then it gets quiet again. dies out it fades away um she goes into this house and she tries to escape and um now we're getting kind of like the symphony coming back again you know with the strings and the horns very very subtly creating more of that tension more of the cinematic presence that you see this video guys is almost 14 minutes long you know mj making a a, a big mega video for this and he wanted to go all out and that he did so we're getting we're getting that look at look at the shadows the use of lighting this is stuff that you you have to think about when you create this look at it's amazing <laughs> God, that was done so well, so creepy. The trombones, the trombones, the horns, how loud they got. They got very, very loud, guys, but it's, they, it worked. It's effective. It worked. Now he transitioned back. It almost seemed like she was kind of like, you know, um, seeing things, right? Like kind of like caught in a, in a thing, and, and now she's back to kind of like in her house and stuff. So, so clever, so clever. Ah. Oh. <laughs>
Credits are playing, everything's over, song resumes again, um, almost like it did from the beginning, and now we're we're getting kind of like it being reenacted again, all over again. So so well, so well done. Um, almost like if the movie's finished and and we're kind of like seeing like the the whole thing roll out again. Love it. Now we're getting this part here. I didn't. I don't remember seeing this at all. This is something new. I didn't see this. All characters and events in this film are fictitious. Any similarity to actual events or persons of living, dead, or undead is pur purely coincidental. Oh my god. <laughs> How bizarre. No head. No head. This guy. So I don't know who this guy is, but I like what they did here um, towards the end. Look at that. This motion picture is protected under the laws of the United States and other countries. Oh my god, who knows? Who knows if I'll be able to get this on YouTube? Well, I'll have to wait and see. Oh. Beautiful. Perfect. That's how you want to end it, guys. That's how you want to end it. A classic. A classic indeed by none other than MJ. Uh, doing his thing as always, per usual, you know, doing his thing. Um, I want to mention something that I didn't mention in the video, that bass that was coming in and how it switches. It can, it does that signature sound, right? That signature sound that comes in. But then it, it then what happens is, um, intermittently, the chords change. Like, it, 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 it it's struck is struck on in a, on, a, on, a, on a different on a different chord and it, it's so good guys so good well a lot to get to and i'm going to try to keep it brief this video was was a little long um released as a single by epic, Re epic records 1984 january 23rd and it was the final single from jackson's sixth studio album thriller it's considered a mix of post disco and funk and that's what it is guys produced by quincy jones none other and written by rod temperton who wanted to write a theatrical song to suit jackson's love for film and that's exactly what i said before um all those sounds were coming in nice guys Talk about the symphonies that were in there too to create the theatrics, but also the horns, the organs, the synthesizers, the trumpets, the saxophones, the flutes. I can go on and on and on. You hear the organic sounds, the planks, the winds howling. You hear some dogs. You hear creaking of the door. You hear thunder. You hear walking. I mean, everything, everything about this was masterful and it was done effortlessly and perfectly. Um, none other than, than Michael Jackson doing it himself. A lot of inspiration um, from horror movies. Uh, you see how it was done and, and the setting, like kind of like out in the street, iconic and beautifully done. Kind of like almost misty and foggy too at the same time. And then you get narration by Vincent Price, who was, who, who was I mean, Dracula. You know, you, you think of Dracula, right? Because his voice and everything like that. It's perfect, guys. It's perfect. So let's, con let's continue the, the, whole, the whole video on how it was done. Setting the scene in the beginning with the car. She's in the car. They get out. Something's wrong with the car. Then they start walking and stuff like that. And and she's 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 a little you know whatever. Then he has to confess something. She turn he tur he turns into a werewolf. Blah blah blah, etc. etc. I said blah blah blah, etc. He uh, follows her and 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 stalks her into the uh, into or at least terrorizes her into the forest. And then it turns out to be a movie called Thriller. And then that's when it starts setting up the scene for the actual events that actually do uh, uh, conspire popular entertainment and popularizing the making of a documentary format, guys. So this was this was very big in, in, in pop culture. And even the, the, the dance moves and zombies and all that has been portrayed in countless, countless, um, uh, you know, uh, the type of, you know, plays and, and, and school, school parts and everything like that. So very, very... Um, very very w worldwide known the zombie dance basically you know so the library of congress describes it as the most famous music video of all time and i think that is true i think that is true guys nothing can top that in 2009 it became the first music video to be inducted in the national film registry as culturally historically and aesthetically significant love 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 guys love love guys everything about this screams as a hit and it and, and 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 those that don't see it that way, I don't know what you're seeing and what you're hearing because it's it's musically composed brilliantly. It is. 
um, and it's n and 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 everything that's uh, the, the you want to talk about complete package visuals, lyrics, sonically, choreography. I can just keep going on and on and on. Vocals, everything. I mean, you know, I, I probably repeated myself, but it's just amazing the arrangements and everything like that about the song. Just much like his Thriller album in general is just spot on. Derek reacts approved without a doubt. Coming at you. Hopefully you enjoyed it, guys. Happy Halloween. What a great way to kick off Halloween with a song and video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave your comments and suggestions below. I would love to hear what I have to say. Until next time for more music videos and reactions. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also take a moment to comment, like, and smash the subscribe button to stay on all the latest reaction videos. And, guys, yes, I have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you just saw all the more possible. All right, guys, take care. I love you guys. Peace.